As we continue to rely on technology for everyday tasks, our online presence and digital security become increasingly important. With the rise of cybercrime, it's essential to take steps to protect our sensitive information from falling into the wrong hands. However, while we might be aware of the usual suspects, such as phishing emails or weak passwords, there's a lesser known tool that cybercriminals can use to their advantage, VisualPing. VisualPing is a website monitoring tool that tracks changes to a website's content and notifies the user when an update occurs. While this may seem innocuous at first, it's important to understand how VisualPing can be misused by hackers for nefarious purposes. In this article, we'll explore how hackers could use VisualPing for bad and what we can do to protect ourselves from these attacks. VisualPing is a web monitoring tool that allows users to track changes to websites, online forms, and any other web content. The tool uses artificial intelligence to analyze the visual elements of a web page and detect any changes. This makes it an incredibly powerful tool for anyone who needs to keep tabs on updates to web pages or wants to be alerted when a specific change occurs. So, what can VisualPing be used for? The possibilities are endless. For example, businesses can use it to monitor their competitors' websites for changes to their products or services, pricing, or promotions. News organizations can use it to monitor breaking news stories and stay ahead of the competition. And individuals can use it to track changes to job postings, real estate listings, or any other online content that interests them. One of the biggest benefits of VisualPing is its ease of use. The tool can be set up in minutes, and users can choose how often they want to be notified of changes, from real-time alerts to daily or weekly summaries. And because VisualPing is a cloud-based tool, there is no need to download any software or worry about compatibility with different operating systems. Another advantage of VisualPing is its accuracy. The tool's artificial intelligence algorithms are designed to detect even the smallest changes to a web page, ensuring that users are always up to date with the latest information. And because VisualPing uses visual recognition technology, it is not limited to tracking changes to text-based content, making it a versatile tool for a wide range of applications. OSINT, open source intelligence, professionals can also benefit from using VisualPing. By monitoring changes to social media profiles, online forums, or other publicly accessible web content, OSINT analysts can gather valuable intelligence on individuals, organizations, or events. For example, monitoring changes to a website's source code can reveal hidden links, keywords, or other data that could be useful in an investigation. It's important to note that while VisualPing is a valuable tool for monitoring changes to websites, it can also be exploited by hackers for nefarious purposes. Here are three examples of how hackers could potentially use VisualPing for bad. Credential stuffing. Credential stuffing is a type of cyber attack where hackers use automated tools to try to log into websites using stolen credentials. This can be an effective way for hackers to gain access to user accounts, as many people use the same password for multiple accounts. However, websites are starting to implement security measures like CAPTCHAs and two-factor authentication to prevent these types of attacks. Hackers could use VisualPing to monitor login pages for changes to the website's code. For example, if a website introduces a new CAPTCHA or security measure, the hacker would be alerted to this change and could modify their attack methods accordingly. This could allow the hacker to bypass the new security measures and gain access to user accounts. Malware Distribution Hackers could use VisualPing to monitor changes to a website's code or content, waiting for an opportunity to inject malicious code or links. For example, they could monitor a popular news site for changes to a specific article. When the article is updated, the hacker could inject malware into the article's content. When users click on the article, they unknowingly download the malware onto their device. Once the malware is on the user's device, the hacker could use it to steal sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, or other personal data. They could also use the malware to take control of the device, turning it into a bot that can be used in a larger scale cyber attack. Phishing scams. Phishing is a type of cyber attack where hackers use fraudulent emails, text messages, or websites to trick users into giving up sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, or other personal data. These attacks can be very effective, as they often rely on social engineering tactics to convince users to hand over their information willingly. Hackers could use VisualPing to monitor changes to a website's content, allowing them to create convincing phishing scams. For example, they could monitor a bank's login page for changes, then create a fake login page that looks identical to the real one. When users enter their login credentials, the hacker can steal them and use them for fraudulent activities. By using strong, unique passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, 
and being cautious of suspicious activity, we can reduce our risk of falling victim to credential stuffing, malware distribution, or phishing scams. With a little bit of knowledge and effort, we can safeguard our digital lives and ensure that our sensitive information remains in our hands alone. Conclusion As the digital world continues to expand, so too does the threat of cybercrime. While we may be familiar with the usual tactics, it's essential to be aware of the lesser-known tools that can be used by hackers to exploit our sensitive information. VisualPing is a powerful tool for monitoring website changes, but it's also an attractive option for cybercriminals looking to gain unauthorized access to user accounts or distribute malware. By understanding how hackers could use VisualPing for bad, we can take steps to protect ourselves from these attacks. Thank you for watching this video on how hackers can misuse VisualPing for their own gain. If you found this information helpful, please take a moment to like, share, and comment below. I would also love to hear your suggestions for other OSINT tools to explore in future videos. If you're interested in supporting my channel and helping me to continue creating informative content, please consider subscribing and donating to my PayPal account. Your contribution will not only help me to improve my channel, but it will also help me to pay for my psychology degree, which is a significant expense. Thank you again for your support.